Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Forest River. As you can see, we are here with the Land Roller and uh, of course our 2870. So, little update. I did a little bit of work off camera just to try and speed things along. Uh, I went ahead and I rolled 39, 60, and 59. And then I did the headlands here on 41, so we're going to go ahead and get that finished today. Um, and then, if you notice, our money up in the top right there is a little lower than last video. I did um, fill this trailer with liquid fertilizer. And then I filled our other trailer up with herbicide, so we are good on both uh, for hopefully a while. Um, since last video, I did also add in um, let's see here. Um, I added in the manual attach mod and of course autosave is going to kick in right off the bat isn't it no. okay apparently it is um i had added in manual attaching um just to kind of add that realism aspect um, another thing, so <clears throat> if we go here, Legacy Egg has recently put uh, his seed box out. Now, you can do quite a bit with this. Uh, you got a lot of different brand options as well as seed. Um, and so beans that I have that as well as oh let's see where they're at here um, a few different seed tote tender options um, we got a few different things I would like to get into using those however I have also debated on using the advanced seed mod um, so for anybody that doesn't know what that is basically it adds to where if you want to seed wheat you have to buy wheat seed um, or barley you have to buy barley seed so on and so forth and it basically makes it to where the game is a lot more realistic um, instead of just buying you know going anywhere and you buy random seed you have to buy specific to the crop that you want to plant um, now my question for any of you watching would you like to see that implemented into the future of this series. I have played with it before, but at the time I was just playing on save games and I just I wanted to get seeding, I wanted to get going. I didn't want to mess around with it. But on this series I'm not really in that rush. Um especially I mean we are halfway through our first year pretty much so um, with that being said we do have some time to figure that out um, and I will add I mean you guys can comment your thoughts on that as well but I am gonna put a poll in the video as well so you guys can vote on that um, if we should or shouldn't implement the um, advanced seeding add-on uh, into 
our series. And another thing that uh, I want to hear your guys' input on is what should we look into for the future of the farm? Um, do we want to stay as just a grain farm like we are right now or down the road should we get into running cows uh, should we look into pigs uh, those are the only two that I would really look into doing I'm not really a fan of chickens or sheep anything like that um, that and with this map those two are really the only ones that we could do I mean there's nowhere on the map that we could sell wool nowhere we could sell eggs anything like that um, I mean we could we could add horses down the road too um, but I mean I've never really messed with horses since getting the game and having them implemented uh, just cause I mean there's I don't know I i don't see using horses the same way that we would use cows or pigs um, I mean that's just me but um so again I will put a poll in the video um, let me know your thoughts and as always you can comment your thoughts as well um, and just kind of let me know what you guys think um, of where we should go with the farm um, eventually I do want to build our own yard. Um, I know as time progresses, if we can keep the farm profitable and we can come out ahead in years, things like that, we are going to expand. Um, and sooner or later, eventually, this yard will become too small. So, sometime down the road, I would absolutely like to purchase a piece of property. And, I mean, even if we just build bit by bit, a uh, little bit at a time, you know, say we put a house down, or even we start with a building, um, eventually, I would definitely love to upgrade and uh, build our own farm we can do some with grandpa's but there will be a limit of course Alright, let's get this back to the yard and cleaned up, and this tractor is done for the time being. Um, this tractor will probably go on a wagon this fall, probably our bigger wagon, but uh, time will tell. So let's pull this up right here. We'll shut this guy down let's give it a good wash because it's definitely a mess as you can see let's go ahead and pull the HUD back up here make sure we get this thing fully clean and then we can go unhook it back in its uh, spot and we'll throw the tractor back inside and then we're gonna start on uh, doing
Doing a little bit of fertilizing. Let's see if we can get our uh, corn ground fertilized today because uh, our soybeans won't need any fertilizer. I did take the sprayer out to the field uh, with liquid fertilizer in the tank to double check that. And uh, yeah, we do not need any um, additional fertilizer for it. So all that we have is our corn fields and uh, that's it so all right let's get this unhooked it's been so long since I've used the manual attach mod I kind of gotta remember how it all goes again oh no idea where I'm at there some lights on so we can see where we're going here so we don't hit the shed perfect all right well I think we are on to some spraying now I want to make sure that my lines hooked up okay well I'm assuming everything is ready all right so we can uh, mark field 41 down here and uh, okay perfect all right, let's get it out here and uh, fertilize our corn. So we got 59 and 60 that we need to get done. So let's go ahead and get out here and get it done because uh, it won't be long and we're gonna be needing to spray some herbicide might help to raise the uh, sprayer up here. Um, our oat field is uh, in need of some spraying, so and I was talking with uh, one of the neighbors. He uh, was driving by when I was over here rolling our corn ground and uh, he mentioned to me that uh, a good starter idea means that we are putting um, beans that we put oats in and we can get straw from those oats he mentioned that uh, if we need some extra cash, a good idea would be to bail it. Now, of course, we don't have a baler, and we don't have a trailer to haul the bales to sell them. So been kind of talking with him a little bit nothing set in stone yet but he did mention that if we decide that we want to bale our oat straw and sell the bales to make a little extra money he has a tractor a baler and a auto bale wagon that we can rent from him uh, after harvest and for a pretty reasonable amount um, so we may look into that because um, 
let's be honest here. The extra money would definitely, definitely help us. Uh, I mean, we kind of need every penny that we can get at this point right now. So, if we can swing it, um, then we definitely will. Um, and, I mean, I'll talk to him a little more, kind of work out some of the finer details on the subject, but he kind of made it sound like if it's something where, you know, we got to kind of do a payment plan type scenario with him that he would be willing to work with us. Um... It turns out that he actually, many years ago, um, back when Grandpa was first starting the farm, he actually worked for Grandpa. And he said that he was sorry to hear about it going under. And uh, things like that. But he said that uh, he is happy to hear that we are back home here and that uh, we're going to take it over and put things back together, uh, so to speak. So um, he wants to kind of help us out any way he can, which is a weight off of my shoulders uh, it's a good feeling to know that you know, we have a neighbor that we can count on in a pinch if we need it um, that's, that's definitely going to be a huge help <clears throat> so like I said come harvest time We'll see uh, what we can make happen, but it definitely would be amazing to be able to do that. Um, make a little extra money, because like I said, we're gonna need it. Um, I mean, we're already, we've been going through quite a bit of money as is, so, every little bit we can make back helps tremendously. Which is why, I mean, it is so important that we make sure we can get all of this fertilizer on where it's needed. Um, spray every weed that we need to spray we're yeah we're spending a lot of money in the spring here but hopefully it'll be uh, excuse me hopefully it'll be worth it this fall hopefully we'll see a good large return But, that's all we can do is just hope at this point. As long as we get good rain and we get a nice summer, things like that. Otherwise, that'll really put a damper on things for us. But, we'll make it work. Perfect. That is the first one done. So we'll get uh, folded up and uh, moved to the next one. So we are done with our liquid fertilizer here. Awesome. Let's get a move on here. So 
So we're going to start on this big part of this field first. Let's just take a peek here. How much fertilizer? Okay, so we're still just over half full. So we are good for a little bit yet. I may not have needed to buy quite as much, buy a full trailer load of fertilizer, but on the bright side, we will have it for later in the year or for next year, uh, whichever. This is a uh, fairly decent sized field between the two halves of it, or two pieces I should say, not halves, but pieces. field is definitely drinking the fertilizer up. Which is perfectly fine by me. Hopefully you see that return on it. Okay, well, we'll go down and see how far we can get before we run out. And then we'll have to run back to the yard and uh, get her filled back up. Not quite to the end. Shucks. Well, we'll have to run back to the yard here. We'll get uh, filled back up. Getting close to uh, being down to half a tank of fuel. And we got about an hour and a half, or well, uh, let's see, it would be 15 hours um, left on this tractor before it needs a service. As mentioned before, yes, I know it'd be technically 1.5, but because of how this counts versus how it would be in real life, I'm basically, for every tenth of an hour, I'm counting it as one hour. And so now, beans that were showing 3.5, that would be 35 hours on the tractor. Throw some hazards on.
perfect. And your 267 gallons of fertilizer loaded up. Let's get back and uh, get this field finished. At least we haven't had to, uh, we haven't really used a whole lot of fuel in any one tractor, aside from this one, really, to where uh, we've been using a lot of fuel out of our tank. So that is a plus for us. Because, uh, the less money we have to spend on fuel right now, the better. Fuel is getting... Fuel prices are getting quite ridiculous, so... If we can get by with uh, not spending a boatload of money on fuel, I am A-OK -okay with that. Alright, back to it. Let's get her done. So I guess another thing to kind of think about uh, that I can also put in a poll uh, what kind of an equipment lineup should we uh, think of going with? Do we want to stay with one brand or do we want to kind of mix and match? Um, do we want to run an all John Deere farm? Do we want to run all case? Do we want to kind of just say screw it and do a mix and match of different uh, brands have some case some John Deere some New Holland kind of a variety uh, let me know your thoughts on that either in the comments or in the uh, poll in the top thing YouTube puts it in the top right corner of the video Looks like we got a down and back yet, I'm thinking. I don't think we can cover that whole area with uh, one pass. Let's take a look here. Oh, maybe we can. We sure can. Maybe just a little bit of a miss in a couple spots, but it's all right can't always get all of it. Alright. 
Let's finish this last little bit and uh, we'll be done fertilizing. This one should not take long at all, provided that we don't run out. Hopefully we don't. But, uh, we are putting her on pretty heavy, so it might be an iffy one here. I do have to say, this is quite the uh, sprayer setup. I think, I think this looks really, really nice. We should have this one done in no time. Boy, we might cut it close on our uh, fertilizer amount. Hopefully we can get by. going to be close. Because we are already down to a quarter of a tank. Oof. I think It'll be okay because we got this pass and just a little snippet after that. So it's just got to last a little bit. Yeah, that's one pass right there. So perfect. We will be a okay on fertilizer. Right, perfect. And that is done. So we are done with fertilizer for uh, the year. 
Well, folks, I'm going to get this back, and I'm going to get this fertilizer cleaned out of here, get everything uh, cleaned out, all the lines, the tank, the booms, nozzles, um, and get this filled up with herbicide, switch our nozzles over to our chemical nozzles, and uh, then tomorrow we will see you guys in the oats field and uh, we will get some weeds knocked out. So thanks everybody for joining me today and uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.